I'm in an Empire State College sandbox area. I'm right-clicking the sandbox land and sliding up to the option called Build. This is the Build menu that appears and it has multiple tabs across the middle, but for now I want to be sure that I'm in the Create mode, which is this magic wand, and I select a shape. Let me move this over so you can see what I'm doing better. I'm going to select a shape. The cube is active. I'll click the magic wand on the ground and you'll see a cube appears. Shapes can be moved interactively by the handles and if you don't see the handles click back onto the shape and you may have noticed that as I move the shape you'll actually see the grid of the land. If I hold down control on the keyboard while I have the shape active I can actually rotate the shape. Shapes can be changed in size. I click back onto it and I'm lifting it up a bit and now I'm holding control and shift on my keyboard and these little white handles appear. If I click and drag that handle along the dimension of the uh, grid that you see, the item changes size. And you can do this also through the menu itself. I'm going to click over to the menu here for a moment. And if I click to the object, you'll see that the object has dimensions of position and let me see if I can raise this up a little bit higher and the object also has sizes that I can change interactively from the menu itself so I have two ways of adjusting almost any feature. I have clicked back on and you also have control not only over the size but the way the shape is going to look and I will click to the middle tab called texture and I have the option of creating textures and colors and right now the color is a neutral color and the wood grain is coming from the texture. I'm going to click on to the texture and choose some other options. By default the computer goes and looks to textures that are in the library that you have with your avatar. I just clicked library and I'll notice that if I drill down and then keep on scrolling down I have a lot of different textures that I can use. So I move this over and I'm going to just pick arbitrarily a floor tile texture and let's see let's go for a white floor tile and I have now created a texture. I can cancel it or I can click OK to keep it. If I click on color the option for different prefigured pre colors comes up or I could actually create my own color and select the color you want and click OK and let me just move this over to give you some more perspective. I now have created a color on my object. When I have an object that I want I can also hold down shift on my keyboard and pull on an arrow in the dimension that I want and I will pull out a duplicate of that particular object. And when you have an object and I click back on it, you'll notice that right now every one of the sides called faces, and I'm going to click control and slide this around, is the same. Now when I have the object selected, I can also then click the radio button called select face. And you see this little bullseye shows up. I'm going to click only on the face that I want to see. And now I have this face active and I'm going to choose to change the color of that face and so when I click out and when I let me make it full bright too which makes it glow um, you can see that I can click and change any one of the faces of this object working in three dimensions and let me close this display box can be different than what you're used to now I'm sliding around using my camera controls and you're going to see that it can become uh, rather challenging to think about creating objects in three dimensions because they don't always appear quite the way you want so of course you're going to have to practice to really get good at this but you can begin to get the basic elements just from doing some kind of fun experimentation